Well, all new at six tonight, a Southern Tier family is now fighting for justice. One year after the murder of a young man. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller takes us back to the scene of the crime. He fought for his life since he was born to be taken. They took his life. Something that that's all he did was fight for his life, his whole life. Nearly one year after the brutal murder of a 23 year old Wellsville man, sadness and frustration from his family. He wasn't just murdered, he was brutally murdered for hours upon hours with these eight people and we feel that they they're just walking. Last March, police say Nicholas Burge was tied to a chair and beaten to death over the course of an entire day inside this apartment building in Wellsville. Eight people were arrested for the brutal crime, some juveniles. His body was then wrapped in garbage bags and dumped in this river, according to prosecutors. I just hear him cry out, Uncle Bobby, help me, Uncle Bobby, help me. We met with Burge's family today where his body was found last March. His uncle Bob Roach says he feels justice was not served in this case. Last month, five of the defendants, 26-year-old Dylan Coomer, 34-year-old Lawrence Haxton, 28-year-old Rochelle Kaiser, 38-year-old Christopher DeLeo, and an 18-year-old youthful offender took plea deals ranging from manslaughter to felony assault with a maximum sentence 16 years in prison. And the DA's office tells me all defendants were offered a plea. You know, I just feel it's a smack in our face. We feel that we were lied to because the ADA told us that they were going to plea bargain for them. In return, they were to testify against the other four and he was going to go after life sentences for the other four. Allegheny County Assistant District Attorney Michael Finn says he's satisfied with the outcome. They said four for four. Is that something that you promised them? The goal in this case has always been to bring a just outcome for all of the people that were involved in the homicide of Nicholas Berg. Finn says throughout the legal process, he spoke with Roach's sister, who was the designated spokesperson for the family at the time. She did not want to go on camera, but tells me she believes the DA has done a good job. She says she can deal with the outcome and says she's glad the defendants are not walking the streets. But her brother? Do your job. Yeah. Stand yeah. up and fight for for the 32,000 people in this county that have you in that position. 70 videos of, of what they did to Nicholas and you're going to plea bargain. One boy got probation. What does that say to our, our people that you can do whatever you want and just sign up for probation? Sentencing is later this month. The three who did not take pleas could go to trial. Reporting in Wellsville, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.